Hey guys, and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Today we have a Pro Speed Baseball subscriber request on David Wright's load, and he wanted to know uh, how he executes his unique load and what the pros and cons are to it. So that's exactly what we're going to go over. Let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to go over first here is real quick is what's unique about David Wright's load. So we can see right here his bat's in a relatively neutral position and this is uh, about halfway through the back of his load. And we can, if we take him forward we can see that this bat likes to tilt out in front of the hands. So if we were to mark the hands right here we can easily see that the bat's well outside of his hands. Now a lot of guys do tilt the bat forward uh, before they take their hands to the ball but uh, David Wright does it a little bit more on the severe side so I'm guessing that's why uh, we had the question on how he executes this load. What he's actually doing here, what guys do when they're tilting the bat forward like this, is they're using this as a timing mechanism uh, in their own swings to initiate forward hand movement. So what they're doing is they're letting the ball get to a certain point and they're trying to time that ball um, to that point with the tilting of the bat. So once that bat reaches a certain point, they're trying to time the tip of the bat to max out. So for David Wright, it's going to be on this specifically, he's trying to time the, the movement of the bat forward as this ball meets this point right here. And what he's doing here is that's the end of his load and that's what his trigger is. And once he gets finished with that, that's when he goes ahead and lets the swing fly. So what I want to go over real quick is, uh, you know, that's how he executes a load. So what we're going to go over is the, uh, quickly is the pros and cons to this. And uh, the big pro to, to loading in this method is that we can actually have a little bit more room to pick up bat speed. So what happens here when we get this bat head out over our hands is it now has to travel back behind our hands and then to the ball. And in uh, physics theory, if we have more room to move an object, we can theoretically move it at a higher speed because we have more time to build momentum. It'd be the same thing as you know trying to speed up on a quarter mile track in a car um, versus speeding up on a mile track. If we were to speed up on a mile track, we'd be able to, to reach a higher miles per hour because we have more room to go. So that's uh, the same uh, concept here, is if we tilt the bat forward, the bat's gonna have to travel a greater distance and then come back down to the ball so we could have a chance to build up some more speed. So that actually leads us right into the con of loading like this, is that, be, yes, it might, we might have the opportunity to build some more speed, but we're also going to have to take more time to get to the ball. So this, uh, because the bat has to travel a greater distance, we're actually going to have to start a swing a little bit earlier. And, or, you know, this kind of all depends on your hand speed. There's a lot of little things that depend on this. But if we think about one swing with one speed, if the bat gets tilted forward, yes, we can build more bat speed, but we would have to start our swing earlier. And that would make timing a little bit more difficult, uh, being as that we have less time to see See where the pitch is going to be if we tilt this bat forward like this. So, uh, what you guys can take uh, home, or what you guys at home can take from this load, is to know in your own load that the more vertical that this bat gets uh, over your hand, so over the plate, so the more it gets vertical over this way, the more speed we can potentially build up, but the longer it's going to take. Uh, the bat to get to the zone. So there's always um, a, a good balance to find in baseball when we're when we're doing when we're looking at little things, little uh, these little innate things about the load and that kind of stuff. We uh, always want to make sure that we're always doing the big things right. That we've got our hands in a good position. That our feet are going to be in a good position, and then all the big things are done right. And these little things like the load are little things that we can play with. So if you guys are having a little bit of trouble picking up bat speed, you can try to get your bat a little bit more vertical before taking your hands to the ball and you can even try to time this uh, like David Wright does where you get the bat going let's go ahead and take them getting forward and then to the ball uh, and if you guys are having trouble getting around on the ball and your bats pretty vertical in your swing so let's say your bats somewhere around this ballpark right here and it's pretty vertical in your swing then you might want to get to a more neutral position and that can actually help you get to the zone a little quicker and help you be a little bit earlier on the pitch. Now I really hope you guys enjoyed this little short analysis on David Wright's load and if you did go ahead and stay tuned. I got a great bonus coming up for you. I'm going to play a preview out of one of the videos in our free power hitting series that you can check out ex exclusively by clicking on the link that pops up uh, in the preview or in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. Let me know what you think. If you guys have any questions at all on this video or anything baseball, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys could like, subscribe, plus one this video on Google, that really helps me grow the channel as well. And I really appreciate it every time you guys do. 
Uh, good luck with your games, guys. Good luck with your swings, and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, I'm Michael Durr with Pro Speed Baseball, and I'm going to show you how to get home run power with proper separation. So what we're going to talk about separation and what that actually means in the baseball swing. Separation is going to be how far we can get our hips away from our shoulders. So if my hips are open and my shoulders are closed, this is separation. Now the more that we can do this, the more speed we can deliver into the baseball by creating a sling.